Thanks for coming back to the fifth quarter of the Memphis Showboats coach, Todd Haley, and his shows. You know what? The Showboats making a historic return to Memphis, so that means the Showboats got to have somebody to keep the fans engaged because, you know, the players going to do that, but the cheerleaders are doing it as well, but everybody can't be a Showboats cheerleader. But we do have some Showboats cheerleaders. Check them out. Taylor Tucker, she shows us. On your toes, five, seven, eight. Pick it up. Three, here we go. Same thing, here we go. There's a lot of pressure, yes, because, you know, everybody obviously wants to see the football team, but the cheerleaders are a huge part of it. So is the hype squad and the mascot. So we've got to be, we've got to be fully prepared. Coach Carol Lloyd Cross is no stranger to the dance industry in Memphis. I'm originally from Memphis, yeah. and I grew up being a cheerleader and dancing. And then once I graduated high school, I danced at the University of Memphis for four years. And then I've just stayed involved ever since. And when the showboats came calling, she knew what to do. I'm from Memphis, born and raised here. I'm from Chicago, you? Illinois. I'm from Memphis, Memphis Tennessee. Okay. Olive Branch, Mississippi. 22 girls practicing three days a week. Some natives of Memphis, some new to the Bluff City, but all excited to be a part of the comeback season. I'm honored to be on the team for the first year back with the showboats. Just to be a part of history, you know, bringing it back to Memphis. So. I feel like, you know, it's going to be pretty cool. Looking forward to being able to continue to do what I love and to engage with the fans on game day. I'm super excited. I think my family is making me more excited because my parents and aunts and uncles and everyone, they used to be Showboats fans back in the day. So everyone's ready for the comeback. With game day right around the corner, there's a lot to do in a short amount of time. And lots of energy. The more you're on your toes, the better you're going to look. I think that people don't realize how calculated it is to pump up the crowd. Everything is really well thought through and takes a lot of planning. And I think that people don't really know how many hours and weeks go into planning a special experience for fans. Now fans will soon have halftime and pregame shows to see their showboat cheerleaders. And in Memphis, Taylor Tucker, Action News 5. Well, Coach, it's always great to have some nice little support staff, and the cheerleaders do an amazing job. I know they're going to do an amazing job. Now, here, Coach, real quickly, here we go. First game is coming up. What can we expect, Coach? Well, I, I hope you expect the Memphis Showboats win. I expect that. Um, you know, I, you know that, that's first and foremost, but uh, just really excited about uh, having fans come out and, and see what we're all about and, and build, that, build that support. Uh, you know, in our home stadium because I think it's unique, special. It's a, a great time of year. Football's missing, uh, pro football's missing, and an opportunity for people to come out and root the Memphis Showboats on. And I'm glad you all are here, Coach. Coach Todd Haley, thank you. It's the first episode of the fifth quarter with Memphis Showboats head coach Todd Haley. I am Doc Holliday. Thank you all for watching. Now, you all can look forward to these every week during the season, and we hope it's a long season with Coach Todd Haley, legendary coach, Memphis Showboats coach, the Memphis Showboats also back. Showboats, Philadelphia Stars, 330 Simmons Bank, Liberty Stadium. Be there or just be there. Thank you.